my son uh, Samuel, a high functioning young autistic man, was having difficulty finding meaningful work. And um, my wife said to me, look, we have to come up with something. This is not working. So uh, we went out to look for businesses in the neighborhood. It's <laughs> just an incredible coincidence. The very first thing, we looked at the first business listing was a popcorn store. It started out um, in the Freehold Mall. There was a place called a Pop Stop. Uh, we bought it. It saw as a regular pop store, and by uh, 2015, we moved to the Brunswick Square Mall and we renamed it Popping Cafe for a while. And we, we did hire adults with disabilities, but after that, we tried to change the name Popcorn for the people. And around, I think, 2017, we moved to 11B Hearts Lane. And then a year, like about last year, we moved here. This facility is very convenient for us because uh, it's only five minutes from, the, from uh, Rutgers. But we have our steady flow of customers that look for us every game. And it's about our adults working and just networking and meeting people. And that's, uh, that's what we're all about. I never had the vision that we would be where we are. And it was just supposed to be at the beginning. Samuel, maybe one or two of his classmates. And as we grew, we also began getting more and more requests for young men and women on the autism spectrum and other developmental disabilities looking for work. And it soon became obvious that the unemployment rate uh, is off the charts in the autistic community, in the disabled community in, in general. Numbers, numbers you would never think of, 80% unemployment, 90% unemployment. And so we had a solution to help out a little bit but still we, uh, we helped. Um, I never worked in my whole entire life. And when I came here, I learned new things about myself. Always very shy. And now I like to talk to people because I have experience here. Oh, I enjoy most of all the different kinds of jobs I can do. Through from making the popcorn to bagging it to sealing it, selling it. Because they have social difficulties and language difficulties, a lot of people don't assume confidence. And I think that's really important to assume that they the confidence. And I always say that um, if you become friends with somebody with autism or a disability, it's really a gift you give yourself because uh, they will teach you more than you will ever teach them. The work has a way of flushing out the workers' talents. That's popcorn offers a whole uh, range of jobs, from very simple to very complex, to those that need mechanical skills, to those that need personality. Oh, it's great, they love it. It's just, it's just, they say it's fantastic. Everyone likes the Chicago Big Cheddar, the dark chocolate espresso, the cookies and cream. We ha our best sellers are dark chocolate espressos, it was caramel, kettle, cheddar, there, there seems to be popcorn for everybody's taste. We even have a French toast one. I real, feel really proud about all this and I feel like I've done a lot uh, with all of this. You know, when we're doing the hiring process, a lot of questions that we ask are, what do you like to do? And what do you feel comfortable doing? And so, you know, we'll start them out in those roles. Let's say someone is like, oh, I'm not very good with handling money, but I like talking to people. Okay, great. So you can, you know, work with the sales and then someone else will be there to help you count out the money and things like that. But, you know, once they get com comfortable with that one portion, we'll kind of push and hopefully get to another portion. Like, okay, let's try working on money skills. This popcorn business has been able to really work with people on their abilities. There's a place for everyone. That's, that's what we've found and it's been really great. We got Rachel. Eat your heart out, Goldman Sachs. We got her. <laughs> and she has made this place grow exponentially since she has joined. You go along and you don't feel it, and you don't feel the forest from the trees, and then something big happens, and you get, whoa. For example, Rutgers University coming to us, started with uh, Dean Martin Markowitz, and uh, from there, within a matter of days, being moved over to uh, meet the Rutgers Athletic Department, and next thing you know, you're doing Rutgers football, and serving 40,000 people, and employing a whole bunch of young men and women. So it's this day-to-day -day moving the ball along with these huge successes coming in. Not what hopefully it'll continue. One, two, three, go. MCs out there, you better stand clear. Popcorn People is a world premiere from East Piscataway, Best West, America's Best, Cold Wild, New Jersey is where we rest.